This is part 121 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss choose function in SQL Server. This function is introduced in SQL Server 2012. It returns the item at the specified index from the list of available values. One important thing to keep in mind is that the index position starts at 1 and not 0. We have the syntax for this function right here. First, we specify the name of the function and then the index of the item that we want from the list of available values and then the list of available values itself. Here is an example. The list of available values here is the country list. So we have three countries at the moment and notice the index is 2. The item within this list of available values at index position 2 is US. So when we execute this query as expected, we get US. I have this exact same query already typed here. So when we execute that, notice we get US. Now if I specify the index position as 1, then we should get the first item which is India. Now the index position starts at 1 and not 0. So what do you think is going to happen if we specify the index position as 0? It's going to return null. And the maximum index position for this list of available values is 3. That is UK is the item that is present at the last index position. And that is 3. So what do you think is going to happen if we specify the index position as 4? Again, it's going to return null. All right. Now let's look at an example of using this choose function with tabular data. We'll use this employees table on the left for the examples in this demo from here. So within this table we have got three columns, ID name and date of birth. Now we want to write a query that's going to retrieve name, date of birth and the month name from date of birth. So if you look at Mark, his month of birth is January. So we want to display that. Similarly for John, the month is December. For Amy, it is November. So we want to display the month name also along with their name and date of birth. Now we can achieve this either by using case statement or choose function. First, let's see how to achieve this using case statement. So here is our employees table. Within our result set, we want name, date of birth, and then I'm going to use case statement. I'm also going to use date part function to retrieve the month number. So using this date part function, I'm going to tell it to give me month number and we have to pass the date of birth. So I'm going to specify date of birth column here. So when month number is one, then what do we want to display for month? January. Similarly, when month number is 2, then we want to display February, so on and so forth until month number 12, in which case we want to display December. In the interest of time, I have already typed uh, the required code, so I'm going to copy this code that we see right here. So when 12, then December, and I'm going to end the case statement and give this column an alias. Let's call this month. So we have our query right here. Okay. So all we are doing is, you know, when the month number is one, return January, when month number is two, return February, so on and so forth until, you know, when month number is 12. And then we end the case statement and, you know, we give that column an alias month. So when we execute this, we get the month name along with name and date of birth for every employee. But with the case statement, look at the amount of code that we have to write in order to achieve this. Now we can simplify this using choose function. So I'm going to make a copy of that query. And instead of using case, I'm going to use choose function. With choose function, what is the first parameter? The first parameter is the index of the item that we want from the list of available values. Now what is this date part function going to do? It's going to return us the month number. So that will be the index of the item that we want. Okay. And then that second parameter is going to be the comma separated list of month names. So I'm going to close this choose function right there and we are going to give this column an alias month. Okay. And here we are going to specify our list of available values. January, February, March, so on and so forth until December. In the interest of time I have already typed the required list of available values. So I'm going to paste that right there. 
So if you look at this query, it's, it's pretty straightforward. So first one is the index of the item that we want, and the second parameter is the list of available values. Okay, so let's execute both of these queries together and see what result we get. Look at that, we get exactly the same result. But look at the amount of code that we have to write when we use choose function. So we have that example right here. Thank you for listening and have a great day.